Welcome everyone. What you don't see coming is today's timeless pick a card. Pile one, we have the gatherer, pile two, magic, and pile three, the giveaway. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now if you need more time to choose your pile. See you at your pile. Welcome pile one, you chose the gatherer, so let's see what you don't see coming. Okay, so we do have a pumpkin there. This is reminiscent of October, Halloween, harvest season, autumn, fall, however you want to call that. Um, some of you could have a pumpkin patch. But I see maybe you're waiting for a harvest or what you don't see coming is a harvest. With the gatherer here, what I'm hearing as well is prepare and gather what you can gather for the next phase. You will need to gather. Also, I just heard something about pumpkins and how to use them in their various ways, like pumpkin jam and pumpkin soup and there are several ways that you can use the pumpkin. I don't know why this is coming through, but it is... I just heard zero waste. Zero waste, and I also heard compost. So maybe you're thinking of... Maybe you have a farm, maybe you live on a farm, maybe you want to start farming. Gathering, gathering seeds, something about pumpkin seeds as well. I know pumpkin seeds are really good for you. Well, if you, you, if you can have them, if you're not allergic, of course. The number 21 could be relevant to you as well as the number 3. Um, I'm seeing a, a gathering, a social gathering as well that maybe you're not expecting. Someone here could have Gemini in their chart, but I'm seeing you're going to get a social invitation to a gathering. And it could be around fall time. It could be October and I'm seeing progress being made, and I'm seeing possibly a collaboration as well, gathering to collaborate, to make progress, coming together to build a foundation with at least two other people possibly, gathering your skills and resources and talents and enmeshing them and synergizing them to create something bigger than yourselves and to create more than you could on your own. Wow, okay, there's many, many messages coming through. Gathering for a ceremony could also be that you are going to gather for a ceremony. Recently on my birthday, I did gather a group of friends and we had a, one of my friends is shaman and she um, has learned with the Mayans, the cacao ceremony. So that's something that we did. Maybe you're thinking of doing something like that, gathering a group of people and some kind of ceremony possibly, or maybe you're going to be invited to this. Yeah. And there's also, there's you're being invited to really look at resources that you may have around you, close at hand, and how to use them. Because you, you can multiply the abundance. There's a lot more use than just the one thing for the one thing that you have, is what I'm seeing here. And this, there's this energy of everything being ripe in your life, and it's almost time for the harvest. And now this could be very um, literal, metaphysical, or metaphorical. You're being really invited to banish these notions of scarcity, to abandon the scarcity mindset, okay? And stop limiting your choices or limiting what you believe you're capable of. Because you're capable of a lot more. Pack your food for the winter. Get ready for the winter and stock up. Something about stocking up. Or um, making the most use of what you have. And zero, I just heard zero waste. I keep, I keep hearing zero waste here. But with the number 21 there, that could be a relevant day, like uh, September 21st, October 21st, November 21st, up until December 21st. I'm hearing these could be very important dates. I know that December 21st is the um, winter or summer solstice, depending on when you're, whether you're in the northern or, hemi or southern hemisphere, 
I'm not talking about the equator, okay? I'm not talking about those countries that are affected by monsoons. I'm talking about the seasons here. The 21st, so the number 21 is very important and specific, and the number 3 as well. Someone could be 21 years old, someone could be born around the 21st. But the number 21, um, so there could be something happening on the 21st. Alright, so let's just open the frame a little bit and let's do some astro dice to see what you don't see coming. Pile one, what don't you see coming? Libra, someone here could have Libra in their chart. The moon and the number five could be relevant. So five again would be about socializing, communicating, getting together, a party. A party that could have some ritual to do with the moon possibly. You're being invited to a party very possibly. Um, a gathering, a party, a celebration. You're going to be celebrating something and you don't see this coming. We have the moon there. This is purposely being hidden from you. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a surprise to, for you. That someone wants to surprise you. The number five could also be relevant. The fifth of a month or five days, five weeks, five months. Libra energy, possibly Leo, possibly Cancerian energy. Some of you could be Cancerian Leo Cuspers. Meaning someone's birthday here could be on the 21st of July. I'm seeing October 5th as well. October 5th, I am seeing a moon. There's something also about possible romance that you don't see coming here that will possibly turn into a long-term partnership such as marriage but let's keep going reclaim your energy okay so if you've been feeling drained okay it's like you're gathering your energy back it's like you're bringing back all those pieces where you spread yourself yourself thin where you overextended yourself and you're realizing that you need to pull it all back and gather it back for yourself so that you can um, feel energized again because a lot of you have been resting, uh, staying away from others because you've been feeling drained. You're going to feel your energy back. Those energy levels are coming back. The number 42 could be relevant to some of you. And the number 6. This, this lady looks like a tower, a very sturdy, stable tower based on a lotus and she's putting her crown back on. So it could be that you used to be very stable, very energized, very driven and motivated in life and you somehow kind of lost this and you're reclaiming it, you're getting it all back. You're putting that crown back, building yourself up sturdier and um, more stable than ever. It's like you found a way of never feeling depleted again because you know exactly how you got to where you were and you're not taking yourself back there again because now you know better now you know better let me just see if there's any more messages coming through those cards there so you're gathering your energy back you're pulling your energy back because you understand where you've given it away and you guys have the bardo. So the number 50 could be relevant and the number 5. There's change, okay? We have two fives already, 55. So what you don't see coming is a lot of change where you're going to feel energized again, where you're going to be able to pull back your energy. And um, right now you're going, you're in between, you're in this transition. And, and realizing, okay, how did I get here and what do I need to do to get back to where I was and to stay in that and, and, and have that be even better than before. So this is a transition phase for you right now. You're going through a death, a death and a rebirth. You're seeing the truth of the situation of how you got to where you were. And 
in a sense it was it was becoming very uncomfortable it was really it was making you very anxious it was really playing on your lower vibrations it was keeping you in fear and ego and you're kind of being able to now remove yourself and finding more of a balance in your life so it's a very positive change that you don't see coming okay oh love life all right so there's here's something to do with your love life all right so changes in your love life the basis of your question involves your romantic life which is okay your so we have the word changing for the better and we have changes here so whatever's going on in your romantic life and whatever positive changes you would like to see that is what you don't see coming because i see romance the fifth house is about romance so it could be that at a gathering you meet someone new and this changes your romantic life for the better or something about the changes within you gathering your energy or um, socializing with different people is going to help you improve your love life whether you're with someone or not and I do see things positive changes whatever that means for you in your love life I see a lot of romance here I just see sweetness. I'm seeing a lot of sweetness. Okay. Rainbow Aura Quartz. And it says Aura Healing, Magic and Universal Light. I do see your, your Aura Healing. Magic. Something magical. Universal Light. Fused with Titanium, the Metal of Power. Again, Power. When I saw Reclaim Your Energy, I saw Reclaim Your Power. So I do see that you are feeling more empowered. So that's what you don't see coming, is that you're feeling more empowered in your love life when it comes to your energy, when it comes to the changes you want to make, when it comes to feeling strong from your core, and also power more empowered in relationships. Rainbow Aura Quartz is amplified with enhanced healing properties. So you're healing. The stone is able to he heal human energy fields by infusing with the aura with rainbow fields of light. It's a wonderful companion for astral projection, so maybe you're going to have some out-of-body experiences in astral projection here. Joining you with, with the, in the beyond while keeping your physical self anchored. Wonderful. Colors have a, a healing quality in rainbow or quartz and are able to match the tone of your aura's energy field to repair and release blocks. So what you don't see coming is that your aura's energy field will be repaired and any blocks that you are experiencing are going to be released. And with the moon there, I feel this is a lot of shadow work, a lot of your subconscious being cleared out and decluttered. So a lot of healing of deep-rooted subconscious stuff that has been lingering. Living your life in color with this crystal is a must. So if things have been feeling dull, you're getting back to color. Okay, um, these colors, you may benefit from wearing all these colors, okay? So. All right, um, what do we have now with the tarot? Four of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're like in this cocoon phase right now with this four of swords healing, a lot of healing and feeling still, stillness and healing. I just heard stillness and uh, I see a lot of mental healing as well. King of Pentacles. You could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in your chart or this could be someone else. We're going to find out. This is definitely a business owner and a loyal partner, but we're going to see. We have Death. So the death and the rebirth that we mentioned from the beginning, which is right underneath the bardo, which is that card that suggests that um, you're going through a death and a rebirth. And Scorpio energy. Four of Cups. Okay, so it's like life hasn't been the most exciting you're in the cocoon phase again. I just see a cocoon phase with these two here. And judgment. Ooh, shedding your skin. Death and rebirth again. Look at that. 
Okay, um, you're leaving your old, old skin behind. Wonderful. And you're feeling energized, rejuvenated, full of life and judgment. Again, Scorpio energy is strong here. The number 13, 4, 22, and 2, 20. The number 4 twice, angel number 44 could be relevant. Your archangels are around you, guiding you and supporting you. Okay, so here's what you don't see coming is enormous change when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your finances. You're getting out of a scarcity lack mindset into a mindset of abundance. Yes, I love that. You're making better decisions in your life in general. You're doing a lot of healing on a subconscious level and you're going to have a lot more fun, a lot more romance in your life and you're going to feel a lot more stable and balanced. And I do see money coming in. And I see a lot of money coming in. And there's an end to this limbo and this lingering energy. And you're really um, ascending spiritually. And you're getting a second lease on life. A second chance at life is what I'm seeing here. A second chance when it comes to love as well. And you're just healing on a, on a huge level. It could be that you're having a Kundalini awakening and you won't expect that. But you're leaving past uh, things behind you. You're le leaving toxicity behind you. You're leaving behind you what no longer serves you and what you no longer wish to take with you into the future. So pile one, that was a beautiful reading. I hope that was um, enlightening. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. If you would like to be notified of future uploads on the channel, go ahead and hit the bell for notifications. Extra content is on Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, pile two. What don't you see coming? So maybe... You're wanting some magic in your life. You're waiting for something magical to happen. The number 33 could be relevant to you. The number 6. You could have Taurus or Libra in your chart. You can feel very connected to the Ascended Masters. The Ascended Masters are definitely coming through in this reading. You could be seeing the number 33 a lot. The number 3 plus 3, 6 could be relevant to you. Um, <clears throat> I do feel, some of you watching this pile could be feeling really bored and um, there could be some kind of concern around matters regarding abundance or love. It's like you want something magical to happen here. So let's see. <clears throat> let's open the frame a little bit. <clears throat> Beautiful colors on this card, especially on camera, they read really, really well. <laughs> All right, so we have the number one or first house energy. You could have Aries in your chart, doesn't have to be Uranus. You could have Aquarius in your chart and Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries energy. Also possibly Gemini, Libra, sorry, or Taurus. <clears throat> Magic. Okay, um, a surprise. I'm seeing a surprise. Well, it, this is the reading you don't see coming. A surprise to travel, or someone's traveling to see you, or you travel to see someone, or a surprise uh, acceptance in a university to teach or to learn, a surprise breakthrough that is a spiritual breakthrough, or a surprise in... Um, information that is deep, that expands your knowledge, or surprise opening of psychic gifts, or a surprise opportunity to um, work with a different culture, work somewhere else in the world, uh, to expand and to go on an adventure possibly. <clears throat> but I'm also seeing an epiphany. You're possibly having an epiphany about yourself and how you come across and how you would like to present yourself in the world. Um, an epiphany, a, a spiritual awakening, I'm also seeing a spiritual awakening, or an epiphany about your ability to manifest. 
the the fact that you get some information that shows you that you can manifest a lot more effectively. Okay. <clears throat> All these possibilities. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Gracious receptivity. You're about to receive something. And you're going to receive it gracefully, meaning that whether you're ready for this or not, just be gracious about it or you will be grace, gracious about it because you've learned to receive. The number 28 here, I do see 28 has to do with wealth. So I see you're going to receive wealth. And you will be ready and open to receiving this wealth. And it's going to be a surprise. <coughs> <clears throat> it's going to be a surprise. It has something to do with you and you taking action and doing something and taking a risk. You're going to take a risk and you're going to receive wealth because of this risk that you take. And you're going to have a breakthrough. Like magic, you're going to manifest wealth like magic. And you're going to surprise yourself and you're going to surprise others. Because you're taking like that leap and you're trying something out and it works and you're surprised at how well it works. The medallion, something valuable coming your way. The universe is giving you a gift or someone is giving you a gift. You're going to receive gifts and money and, and it's coming from everywhere. For some of you, you, are, you will be receiving a medallion that is worth a lot of money. It could be a higher loom or something, but there's like some kind of valuable medallion that you will be receiving that is worth a lot of money. Or you're going to receive a lot of wealth and manifest all these things plus the medallion. <clears throat> or you're going to have enough money to be able to buy that medallion that you're wanting to buy and get it. The number 59 could be relevant to you as well as the number 5, change change. Maybe you did buy like a, an amulet that is a medallion and it's working to attract, to help you attract wealth. Travel. Yeah, that's that Sagittarius energy. So what you don't see coming is an opportunity to travel or someone traveling your way and possibly bringing you a gift. But it says an upcoming trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. So if you already have uh, travel plans, that trip is going to change your life in very, very positive ways. And it has something to do with activating wealth. You guys got the Enhydro Herkimer. And it says, Golden Enhydro Herkimer. Sunshine, vitality, and joy. Solar plexus chakra feeling stronger. You're getting like a... A boost in your self-confidence, a boost in your vitality, and a boost in your self-worth. It's like you're going to feel a lot more alive, a lot more vital, and it's going to be sudden and seemingly out of the blue. And it could have something to do with traveling here. You're going to feel very uplifted. It's going to raise your vibration. I'm seeing you raising your vibration through the act of traveling, and I see long-distance travel. Containing floating gold liquid. Gold in hydro. Gold is coming through very strongly. Gold in diamonds in Herkimer. So that may mean something to you. Is named after the oil suspended within the crystal. Rare and possessing wisdom from the Himalayas. Where it is found, the stone stimulates the third eye and enhances intuition and connection to the universe. So your third eye will be <clears throat> stimulated and your intuition will be enhanced. And so will your connection to the universe be stronger. And that's why you are able to create magic and attract this wealth by manifestation. Golden and Hydra Herkimer promotes gender fluidity and acceptance, assisting in transitions and connecting with one's gender or healing wounds. Strongly tied to the solar plexus, Golden and Hydra Herkimer can clear out emotional baggage, baggage from many lifetimes. You're clearing out emotional baggage from many lifetimes. Live out loud and proud. You could have your son in Sagittarius or some Sagittarius placement. But what I'm seeing here is the fact that you're clearing out emotional baggage from all these lifetimes 
It is strengthening. That is one of the methods that you're going to strengthen and heal your solar plexus chakra. And the, the reason why you may have been feeling drained and weak, because I do see that you needed a boost, and you're going to get that boost because you were drained and you're no longer going to feel... No longer going to feel drained. Beautiful. Oh, love this. The Empress. Oh, my word. Libra and Taurus energy again. We got that in pile number one, I think. Or no, it was this pile. It was this pile. So there you go. You could have these in your chart. Doesn't have to be. Basically, what you don't see coming is having enough and more. The abundance that you want is actually coming your way and it's going to surprise you. But in fact, you did manifest this. You did manifest this. And it's like you're going to have everything you need. You're also manifesting a glow up, by the way. You're going to be looking really good. I don't know what you're doing, but it's working. The chariot travel again. Yes, you're manifesting it. And I'm seeing between the months of March and July. You could have Cancerian energy in your chart, but you're going to achieve those goals is what I'm seeing here because you decided what you wanted and you waited for the right time. Three of Wands. So your ships are coming in. Three of Wands. What you're waiting for, what you're longing for. And again, could be something long distance is coming or you're going depending. It's something Seven of Swords that you've been planning for but also something that you may have been on and off sabotaging. So the fact that this wasn't happening any faster is because you may be at times sabotaging it with negative thoughts. Don't do that. Uh, only say positive things because you're going to overcome. So here's what I see. I'm seeing success winning at something here. But I, I, I see the biggest victory that you're going to accomplish is overcoming your own self-sabotage. Overcoming your own uh, tendency to, for negative self-talk, to sabotage things that are almost on the way. You're going to um, learn finally to not do that anymore. Not use negative words to describe yourself or what you will accomplish. Um, have a healthy self-concept. I do see that as strengthening and that's going to build your confidence and you're going to start attracting in more victories and more successes rather than uh, losses, okay? So that is beautiful. You're going to win something for some of you. If you enter like a competition, you're going to win, especially if it was related to travel, okay? And money. I'm seeing a lot of money coming your way. And also, <clears throat> you're overcoming your inner battles. I do see overcoming your inner battles. I do see you being acknowledged and applauded and inspiring and um, by others and really admired by other people who want to know how you did it and um, because they they really admire what you're doing what you've done okay so pile number two that was your reading it was a pleasure to read for you guys today please comment how this resonates for you in the comment section if it did not choose another pile um, we have 1111 11 on the clock now, so that could be a, signif a significant number for you. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. It really helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. And extra content will be on Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, Pile 3. So, what you don't see coming. The number 23 could be relevant to you. 2 plus 3 is a 5. You don't see change coming. And this change is coming from the fact that you are either going to or learning to give your worries to the universe, to God, to your archangels, to your spirit team. So you're no longer um, constantly obsessing or worrying about things not working out. You just... Ask for what you want, then you give it away to the universe to be transmuted and to bring back whatever you asked for. So you're learning to let go of the outcome and surrender and trust that what you ordered will, will come your way. It's the same thing as being at a restaurant. 
let's picture yourself at a restaurant that you're used to going to and you normally order and they bring you your food, right? You don't expect the order not to come through. You just expect it to come through. So I see you uh, turning to manifestation and approaching it in this manner if you haven't before. Let's say you used to want something very much and but you tended to apply Murphy's Law and what, whatever can go wrong will go wrong kind of thing or you said, oh no, no, that's too good to be true or there's no way I could achieve that or whatever. Negative self-talk, negative, negative um, self, self-concept, self whatever it was, um, negative affirmations. Those are all spells that you're casting, whether it's just thinking or speaking them out loud. So you want to cast different spells in your life. And I do see you really being very positive, using more positive affirmations to refer to your self-concept and your assumptions about what you believe is possible. And because of that, there will be a powerful change in this ability to really trust that the universe will deliver. Beautiful. Uh, let me open this and put this to the side and let's get some Astro Dice. All right, North Node, wonderful. I've seen the South Node in the latest reading before this one. I'm glad to see the North Node, and I'll explain why 11 and 11th house and Aquarius. Okay, I just heard progress, progress, progress. You're making a lot of headway in progress because you're choosing to trust your life purpose. You're choosing to trust your path, even if it's a little bit uncomfortable because when we step into our life purpose, it means we move out of our comfort zones, which is the North Node energy. So you may not know what your life purpose is. If you want to find out, I do life purpose reports based on your natal tropical astrological chart. So my email is in the description box if you want to know about those. Again, my email, I need to reference that it's five ones and not four ones. So people may read cosmology1111 at gmail but it's actually cosmology11111 at gmail.com. So don't get it wrong, okay? But anyway, um, change. You're changing in the direction of your life purpose is what you don't see coming. And you are you have a big life purpose. I do see that. You have um, big things to accomplish here. And it takes moving out of your comfort zone. And the good news is that you will. You will um, uh, take that leap of faith. And you could have Aquarius in your chart, you don't have to. Maybe you do have a North Node in the 11th house and Aquarius, which is double energy of Aquarius. Uh, but again, doesn't have to be. Uh, you could have your North Node in the 5th house or any other placement. But I do see that um, it could involve communication, something that you're meant to do, big groups of people, helping a lot of people, humanitarianism, um, possibly friendships startups, uh, something very edgy, futuristic, utopian, you have this ability to see 50 years ahead and I do see you will be applying that. Um, I'm also seeing what you don't see coming is more friendships and a better flow in life and um, change. All right. Change in friendships as well, because as you step into your life purpose and you allow yourself to step out of your comfort zone, there's a tendency to unwillingly and not on purpose leave people behind or they, they stay behind or they choose to stay where they are because they don't want to move out of their comfort zones or because they no longer align with what you're doing in life. And so I do see a change of the guards when it comes to some friends here as well. Ooh, surrender. Yes, it's the same energy. You're surrendering and you don't see this coming maybe because you have a tendency to uh, try to control things a little bit too much because of fear. And so what I see is basically you're, if you've been striving to let go of fear, you're finally going to make it happen. You're nailing it. You're making it happen. Beautiful. The number 48 could be relevant as well as the number 12 and the number 3. And because of this, with the number 3, you're making a lot of progress. I also see you connecting to a lot of people, smaller groups, bigger groups. I just see a lot of people around you, a lot of networking, a lot of friendships, a lot of um, introducing people to other people. I see a lot of communication back and forth. And I see you just surrendering to the outcome of these long-term goals and dreams that you have. And even your health, like if you've been holding on too tightly to an outcome here pertaining to a long-term goal that you have or a dream that you have, 
you're going to make things happen. In the meanwhile, you're going to trust and you're going to surrender and you're going to give your worries away to the universe. And even if it's really hard for you to move out of your comfort zone and to step into your life purpose, you're also going to surrender the, the worries that come with that, with taking that leap of faith. And it's a risk and you're going to take the risk and it's, um, and it's going to flow really, really well. And you're going to feel lighter because of this, because you, you're giving away your fears. So that heaviness is leaving you and it's, you're, 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 you're going to be able to flow with the universe. Um, a vision. So I see something about your third eye. So you're getting a strong vision and sharing your vision with others who share the same vision as you. You're getting together with like-minded people, people who are on your intellectual level, spiritual level, level of wisdom. Um, and it's just, there's this beautiful flow where you don't have to be the one doing everything you can delegate because you trust these people. Beautiful. You're sharing a vision with other people, holding hands. I do see possibly a partnership that is like a power couple where you're both going to do something very big. I see twin flame energy here and you're going to do this together because you share this vision and you're both going to be leaders or something. I do see you in a leadership position. The number 55, big, big, big change. We have 555 five, five angel number. There's huge, enormous change. You're going to be doing big, big things. You have a big vision. You're a visionary. And you have the intelligence, the wisdom to see this through. And you're going to get together with at least one person who shares your vision and then many, many others. It's like you're going to go one person, then an, a group of three, and then you're going to go on to bigger groups of people. I see this happening very like in phases. I'm seeing this in phases. Assertiveness. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So you're becoming more assertive and maybe this is something that you don't see coming because you maybe never were or you never felt you were capable of or you didn't know how to do this but you're you're mastering it and you're going to be standing up for your beliefs and um you're only going to be doing what you want to do you got to this point in your life where you're getting to this point in your life where you're only going to do what you want to do because it's aligned with your purpose and it's just for you and it's unique to you and you shouldn't be doing things that are really not aligned with who you are and your purpose leave that to whoever is aligned with that energy right we're not all we're not all born to do the same thing and to behave the same way. Blue spinel. You got the blue spinel. And it says it says persistence in a fresh perspective in a revival. So you're getting a fresh perspective. See she's upside down. You're you're getting this perspective as you surrender, as you give away your fears. You free your mind to focus on other things. And because of that, as you are twirling around in the universe, feeling lighter and more playful, of course, all of a sudden you see something. See, this is all metaphorical. It's like when you're trying so hard to find a solution at your desk and it's the minute you get up and go out to play or catch some sun or go for a walk or talk to some friends that the solution magically pops up in your brain. That's the energy that I'm seeing here. Revive to keep alive. So you're going to feel renewed. Blue spinel brings new energy to stagnant parts of your life. So uh, stagnant parts of your life will be revived and there will be new energy infused from inside your body to the outside world. Okay. The name of the stone comes from the Latin word for spine. Asserting your spine healing your spine, straightening your spine, something about your posture and your spine. It, it, as you heal your posture, heal your spine, everything else will heal. So sit up straight and do anything that can support your upper body. Whether you need physiotherapy or um, exercise, whatever this is, will give you a strong backbone so you're developing a stronger backbone you're feeling more stable and steady in yourself stronger sense of self and a reason to stand tall despite any challenges you may face beautiful so this is the energy coming through for you pile number one could have a message for you this is a great crystal for workaholics so maybe you are one 
as it eases stress and anxiety and instills a renewed sense of resolution. Yeah, if you used to try and do everything by yourself, you're going to start dele delegating because you're going to find your tribe and the people you feel safe enough to delegate to. Beautiful. Um, this is a great crystal for it eases stress and anxiety and instills a renewed sense of resolution. You can make it to the end if you put your mind to it. Blue spinel provides that fresh perspective to reset and rejuice. So you're resetting and your creative juices will be flowing. You could have Pluto and Gemini or some Gemini placement. Here's what I'm seeing with this pile. I wouldn't be surprised if this is my pile. I spent, I'm, I'm very capable of spending time alone and I do need it many times and I even enjoy it. Other times it just feels like, you know, you could, you could have some friends around, but Sometimes I'm just not. I'm just not at that place. And then you have phases in your life where you know you want to be around a lot of people. And so recently, I have made a few new friends, which I'm very, very grateful for. And um, you know how I think I've been manifesting this because I was always manifesting. You know, I was like, oh, I'd love to get like a, a volleyball team together, or I'd love to get like a racket game team together, whatever, whether it's tennis or paddle or something else, or. And, you know, recently I did, I have gotten a team together and I was like, you know how before you know how it's going to work, you don't know. And then when you see it, it's like magic because you surrender and you're like, it will be what it will be. And all of a sudden you have this group of people who have been looking for the exact same thing you have. You're all on the same mental level and you all just make it work like magic. And that's what happened. And I feel this is what's happening for you. Whatever it is you get involved in, it's going to work out like magic. Queen of Wands. You could have Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart. I definitely see you in this place or position, sorry, in this place or position here where you are going to be feeling very vital, very stable, very confident, courageous. And it's like you're going to feel very inspired and in this process of, of, of healing and surrendering and feeling lighter and more playful and surrounding, surrounding yourself with friends and activities and following this vision and really standing up for what you believe, you are becoming stronger in your core and this energy is felt and it is felt around you and you will be attracting people and situations that are just a lot more positive and you will be feeling very inspired and you will be inspiring a lot of people around you. Three of Swords, okay. This is pain and betrayal, all right. Surrendering the worry that you will be betrayed. You're surrendering the worry that you will be betrayed because you trust that you will be able to recover and you will be able to get over it. Okay, Three of Swords, but let's see. Knight of Cups, okay. Good news coming your way. So for some of you, you're definitely, re uh, you're recovering from a heartbreak with an offer of love. So someone's coming in to uh, unbreak your heart. Someone is coming to, for some of you, it's someone who hurt you was coming in to apologize and unbreak my, unbreak my heart. Tony Braxton, I think. Say you love me again. So someone could be coming in to say they love you again after they maybe broke your heart. Okay, take that as it resonates. This could be someone younger or older than you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It could be an apology. It could be taking things to the next level after a heartbreak. It could be um, if there was a third party situation, this person is choosing you and there's no more third party situation. Temperance, maybe this has been a long time coming. This is a higher level soulmate. Divine timing has been at play here. And but what I see here, the main thing I see here for you guys is that you've been able to transmute and alchemize your energy from negative to positive. And so your vibration is raising. And that's bringing in very positive change because now we have a 14, which is 1 plus 4 is also a 5. So we have 5, 5, 5, 5, 4 fives. Enormous change. Big, 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 big changes in your life that are bringing you good news, good vibes, good things to do, good people, friends, and Ace of Pentacles, a new, solid, stable, long-lasting, prosperous, and healthy beginning of a new foundation. 
Wow. Pile number one is also has a message there for you. Sagittarius energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius energy, and possibly Gemini and Libra here as well. Change, change, change. Um, good news, an apology, a romantic offer. We're taking things to the next level with a soulmate here. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm, I'm getting another message here. If you were in this energy of pain and heartbreak between you and someone, the energy between you is going to level out and you're going to find a way of coming to a, a, a consensus, to a compromise in how you're going to ground this and make it real in the 3D material life practical how's the practical working it out in practical terms so that you can be together physically with someone taking it to the next level where you are in the same place physically and again this could be a twin flame for some of you and you share a vision you're going to do big things together this is power couple but there could have been a separation or something interfering in your connection whether it was a person a circumstance or um, a situation and the fact that you gave it out to the universe you worked on yourself you um, or you took the risk toward this and you just thought whatever happens happens was the thing that was needed to bring the two of you together either to let it go or to let go of the worries or to let go of the obsession or let go of um, wondering what the outcome is whatever this is you kept being you, you keep being you, you keep striving for your dreams, for your goals, for your health, working on yourself, empowering yourself, letting go, um, allowing yourself to step out of your comfort zone, and boom, all of a sudden, you align with your higher level soulmate, and you are able to come together, because you were trying to find a solution to come together by working on the solution of coming together, instead of giving it up to the universe, and instead of asking for it, and just allowing it to happen by the universe and while you go about your life and letting the universe handle something that you can't do on your own because there were so many obstacles in the way. Wow. So for some of you guys, this is big and it's something to do with a soulmate. Pile number three, that was your reading. I'm not going to read any, any further here. I feel the message is delivered. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Let me know how that resonates in the, in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Thank you for your likes, sharing, subscribing, commenting. It really helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. If you'd like to be notified of the next video coming out, you can go ahead and hit the bell to be notified of future readings. And extra content is on Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time.